Entrepreneurs from around the world have submitted their business ideas to angelsgate.com. The best will get a slice of a multi-million dollar fund, but only if they get past the gatekeepers. Four of Asia's top angel investors, who will have their business dreams come true. This is Singapore, where the gatekeepers of the Angels Gate Fund have gathered. There's Ken Mandel, digital advertising and technology guru. William Klipgen, internet investor whose company was acquired by Yahoo in one of Europe's largest technology transactions. Patrick Grove, one of Asia's best young entrepreneurs with a portfolio worth over $200 million. And Karan Singh Takral, executive director of the Takral Group, a century-old family business that spans the globe. They're here to meet these entrepreneurs, selected by the Angels Gate community. But they're not handing out checks just yet. First, entrepreneurs must do an elevator pitch, literally. They have to excite one of the angels before the lift reaches the top floor. One by one, entrepreneurs drop out of this high-pressure situation. Hoping to buck the trend is Chi Lim. He's developing a needle that's so small, it can deliver painless injections. It takes me 10 years to work on microneedle project, and I think we are close to actually putting microneedles on the market. That will benefit mankind. That means us and our children. And all it takes is just another round of investment from angel investors. But standing between Chi and half a million dollars is angel investor Karan Singh Takral. Good afternoon, Mr. Takral. It's nice to meet you. I'm Chi, the CEO of Micropoint Technologies. We make microneeders. And what are microneeders? Ah, the small needles sitting on a pad where they can deliver drugs painlessly. You try to earn it? Yes. With only 30 seconds to impress, Chi opts for an attention-grabbing move. He uses his product on himself, winning the confidence of the angel. Welcome. We'll go see for them. Thank you. But it's not over yet. There are four gatekeepers to the fund, and Karan is just one of them. Chi must now convince all four that his idea is workable. Will the angels see the point of Chi's tiny needles? Good day, angels. Uh, my name is Chi Lim. I come from Micropoint Technologies. Today, we are asking for 500,000 US dollars, and our pre-money evaluation is 5 million US dollars. That works out to be 9.06% uh, for your $500,000. In five years, the return on investment would be at least 20 times. Ever since men invented uh, needles and they started to inject themselves, this pain is always associated to injection. And we believe we have the solution, what is called the micro needles. They are basically very tiny needles where you can actually stick on your skin and what does they do? They, they deliver drugs painlessly. This tiny needle will anchor on your skin, so you can take them out, you can feel something, but they are absolutely painless. I have these samples sitting here, if the angels would like to try. The disposable needle market is worth billions of dollars, but a quick online search makes Ken uneasy. Is it like one of these? Yes. Right, so you're not the only company making this? Well, yeah, we are not. Right. Competition means lower profits. William wants to find out just how much lower. How many US cents would you get typically in such an agreement per needle? Uh, well, normally we ask for a upfront licensing fee and then also a supply agreement. That's normally what we have here now. I I'm asking for numbers. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I asked you twice now. Give, give me a range of, of the monetization here. How many US cents would you make per needle? For currently, uh, the, the cost is roughly less than a, a US dollar a piece. And we, of course, can reduce it if you make a, a billion piece. Still, no straight answer from Chi. And Ken is getting a little worried about the feasibility of the entire project. Mr. Chi. Yes. Um, have you done human trials yet? Are you at that stage? We are uh, doing that soon. So what we have here is on myself. So I have not drugs, but uh, biocompatible inks on my uh, finger. Without human trials, the product can't be sold. 
Human trials haven't even started, and that could take two or three more years, correct, to go through a proper trial process. We expect these uh, delivery systems to be far more effective. There is currently a trans. Can you answer the page. question? The question is, when are you starting proper trials that will be accepted by the authority? Chi Lim wants half a million dollars to develop a needle for painless injections. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, but his products aren't ready to go on sale just yet. When are you starting proper trials that will be accepted by the authority? Chi has one last chance. Have you yeah. raised money before from external investors for this business? I'm just looking at your website, it says you have other equity yes, investors. Yes, yes, I actually raised three rounds. Well, what, 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 what valuation was your last round? Uh, I've disclosed, but uh, it would be lower than this round because then... If you were to disclose it, what, what was it? I can't. It's encouraging that other investors have seen the product's value, but Chi won't reveal how much they thought his company was worth. Why is it that you cannot disclose the last round? Because we're coming in as your shareholders, we are putting in money, we are you know, taking a bet on your valuation the next but round. The last round is also current round, so it will be done within, within this month or so. You, 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 you cannot raise two rounds in the same rounds. amount of time, the same period of time with different valuations. That, that is very, very unusual. So we have been talking about, you know, you have no uh, ground to give. I, I gave everything, and now I'm naked, so you might as well, well give no, me not some really. money. You're sometimes, not really naked. No, though. I mean, sometimes, I mean, people like to co-invest. I mean, and if someone else is willing to give you that valuation, then it makes it easier for us. I think we uh, heard a lot from you. The angels need to talk now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. As he leaves, the angels must decide if an offer is even on the table. This market is really interesting. I think his, his, his yeah. idea is good. But there's, I get some uneasiness about the transparency issue. I don't feel he's transparent with us. There's no doubt, though, that the idea has great potential. If you could administer your, this yourself, you don't need to mix sick people with non-sick sick people. So you don't have to go to a hospital to get a SARS-type injection. You could administer it in your home. Tr trouble is, we don't really know if it sufficiently goes from that skin layer into the blood that, because that, a lot of medications need to go into the bloodstream. I feel that before I'd give someone half a million dollars, I would need someone from the medical industry to validate a lot of this. I'm interested to give half a million but not for 9%. So half a million for 30%? Start at 30, Start and, and, and the walk away is 20? Yeah. yeah. Could okay. we give him an offer and say it's subject to due diligence? Financial due diligence plus medical due diligence. Let's do it. Yeah, let's sure. do it. Welcome back, Dr. Chi. Do you have a deal? Angels start with one of the oldest rules in the book. Don't look too keen. My, my finger still hurts, actually. It's well, that like is a pounding, pounding pain. No, in no, no, that is impossible. So <laughs> if, if we have another patch that I can uh, apply on your I don't want to do it again. again. I, I don't want to do, do it again. Do another one. It still Come hurts. On. Let him no, no, do that, that, that is that's impossible. Yeah, that is impossible. Okay, I don't fine, believe it. Mine's not pounding, but mine actually is still stinging. I can. It's like a bee sting on my finger. No, 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 that, that is impossible. That is impossible. Yeah. These microneeders are so <laughs> short that they... You know what, you're right, my finger's lying to me. <laughs> Bit it it's, not, it's, not, it's not very painful, but there's a stinging sensation. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not joking, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Wow. But perhaps that is not normal. Perhaps it goes away after like 15 minutes or half an hour, I don't know. It, it's just something that would probably come out from human trials, which you haven't done yet. But I do think that we have some faith in your ability to have success in this industry. But before we actually, uh, in a due diligence level, we would like to see a proper medical expert's report that yes, these needles are workable, but the percentage is far too low. 
So $500,000 sing mm -hmm. for 30% equity. Do we have a deal? No. Okay. No. no. What we offered him, if he had the conviction to explain why, but just by walking out, it shows me that we made the right decision. Because I think he knew we were onto him by that time. We made a fair offer, he rejected it. He's obviously got another offer on the table. Let's move on to the next entrepreneur. The next entrepreneur is Shabir Amdan, who's invested his money in an online graveyard search directory. A lot of people actually forget about the grave location, the numbers and whatsoever. Hi sir, my name is Shabir, I'm from Triosage. Basically, we are, we are creating a website that uh, allows people to locate the graveyard. It's also, also a social networking media. Basically, we are looking at profit about uh, seven figure Digit. Okay, Shabir, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not convinced by what you told me. I have to say no to you. Okay, then. thank you. I was a bit curious why uh, he doesn't want to hear more of my details because I believe that these business ideas that I have can go very, very far. The day continues with Leona Leong. She runs a sweet shop that hires the disabled and she's looking for money to take it to the next level. I've dedicated my life to helping the handicapped people and I hope to reach out to help everyone around the world. Okay, good afternoon. I'm Leona. I'm from this company called I. We deal with sweets. We are barely a year old, but we managed to break even on the second month. Yeah. And we will actually set up a store, specialty store, to sell all these sweets and candies yeah. to um, uh, the public. I, I haven't heard anything that has my interest yet. Can you tell me something that would make this interesting to invest in? Next year, we intend to actually embark on a new social initiative and we adopt a franchise business model to, get the hand, to engage the handicapped and chronically ill patients to um, manufacture traditional sweets from all over the world mm -hmm. in their, from their respective countries. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Fiona. I, I don't feel it. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Sometimes people confuse a business model with a charity model. And what she has is a charity and a cause and it sounds like it's a great cause to support. What she doesn't have is a very clear business model, and when she takes it into the retail environment, that's a very tough environment. Next up, 26-year-old Adriel Chan is looking for $400,000 to fund his website. It reaches out to musicians around the world to produce corporate music and advertising jingles. Express Music is my very first business and I definitely hope that it will succeed as I put in so much time, so much effort and definitely my own investments into this business. I hope that it can uh, succeed as soon as possible so that I do not have to run jobs here and there just to sustain myself. Hi, how are you doing? If you realise, all brands have an identity. However, many of them do not have an audio identity. Even though he's pitching a website, Adriel doesn't have a tablet to show it. He has dropped the prop in favour of a more personal pitch. But will the gamble pay off? We have worked with international and regional brands in the past year, and we have seen uh, many of them grow. I think your idea is still really small. I think you need to give a lot of thought about the size of the market globally. But I, I love the enthusiasm that you're bringing to the idea. Anyway, welcome to Angel's Gate. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. To be 100% honest, I'm not entirely convinced. I, I just worry that this has the potential to be a really small business. With Patrick already wavering, can Adriel persuade the Angels to give him the money he needs? Hi guys, I'm Adriel and this is my partner, Jerry. We're the founders of ExpressInMusic.com. Today we are here in search of $400,000 funding for 10% of our equities. Our company is valued at $3.6 million. We're in the space of crowdsourcing for live music and customised music. Here with our platform, it's easy for brands or even anyone to have their message into a customised music. So based on the message that you want to communicate, you can post the music brief up on our crowdsourcing platform. Thousands of musicians will see this as a contest. And they will then customise and produce a tune based on what you need. 
Express in Music has also developed a unique algorithm system that will help to compute the value of our clients' music requirements. Thanks for the presentation. I think you present in a very confident manner, very clear. It's very easy to understand your business model. Um, and I like the idea of crowdsourcing in general. I think that's a very smart way to go about it. Um, you've been in the market for two years now, uh, mostly focusing on Singapore, I guess. Can you say how many current projects do you have at the moment? There are currently no open projects as of today, Oh, there are currently today, no open projects? Yeah. But why do you think that is? Admitting to having no clients does not inspire confidence. Adriel and Jerry are seeking funding for a website that crowdsources music, but the angels have been shocked by the state of their business. You've been in the market for two years now, uh, mostly focusing on Singapore, I guess. Can you say how many current projects do you have at the moment? There are currently no open projects as of today, Oh, there are currently today, no week. open projects? Yeah. But why do you think that is? That is why we need these 400,000 to market ourselves better. But is it a lack of marketing or the lack of a market? I'd be really curious to know what is the total amount of money spent in Singapore, in Asia and globally in this category. And you might find in Singapore, the total amount of money spent on jingles might only be $100,000 a year. You're spot on. Honestly speaking, Singapore is a very small market, but it's a good springboard to uh, other Asian regions. Have you ever gone and talked to agencies? Have you gone to MediaCorp? for example, and talk to them? Do you have any input from businesses that would benefit from your services at a better price? Yes, uh, in fact, Media Corp, we have produced a song for them before. Okay, and so oh. have you talked to advertising agencies as yes. well? And what are they telling you? They, they are generally interested, but they are still very new to this uh, crowdsourcing uh, concept because traditionally, people still just go to one uh, freelancer or a particular musician that they always uh, approach. Sure. I think we heard your presentation. I think the angels need to talk now. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Are the angels impressed enough to make an offer? I'm worried about market size. I mean, you're young, hungry guys wanting to build a great business. I, I worry that they're trying to build a business of which there is really little demand for. Mm. I, I, I agree small. with you. It's a small market, but there's a lot of regional agencies that sit in Singapore. <clears throat> and if they say, hey, can you do Bahasa? You know, can you do Japanese? Can you do all these languages? And there's no reason that they shouldn't be able to do every language. And I, I actually like the fact that it's a platform business because this can scale multiple languages very quickly. No one's competing in this space, but the marketing is key. So you can help them get into agencies? Yeah. And perhaps change their marketing strategy to tie up with agencies instead of wasting their time online doing all kinds of stuff. You, they should sign contracts with agencies. Well, I Perhaps. think they just have to get awareness of agencies and that, that's why I asked them, did you go and talk to any agencies or the people that would be your customers? I think I feel that both have energy and yeah. they've done homework well, you see. On the business side, I agree, uh, again, there's a lot of future, but a lot of people are doing in-house. In if they come in a bigger way, there's a market to it. So you would like to invest in this? Yes, I would like to invest in this at the right valuation. The angels decide to go with a good cop, bad cop routine to try to get the best deal. Karan gets chosen to play hardball, while William will be supportive and make the real offer. You, you, you lowball them, you see how far you can get, and then, and then if they don't budge, no, you drop out, you say you're not interested, and then, and then you come in and new man. reunite, no. be the new man, but, and reunite the conversation. Lift, lift, okay. Get out of it. Okay. All right. Good luck on the lowball. <laughs> Let's bring them in. Unaware of the Angel's strategy, will Adriel and Jerry stick to their plan of $400,000 for 10% equity? Welcome back. Hi. Hi. We like your business, we like your concept, but the value you're asking is far too much. And the money, I'm not so sure why you need so much. What Angels have decided, we don't mind putting in US $200,000 for 50% of your company. Two hundred thousand for fifty percent. Yes. <laughs> for the amount two hundred thousand, is uh, I would say it's still slightly below what we. I think have. that's a very good offer. What you can feel. I think looking at the calculated, projected uh, forecast, the expense that we're going to 
we're going to fund ourselves on the marketing campaigns and things like that. The marketing campaign is very weak. But for the equity, 50% is uh, definitely too much of, uh, yes. of what we're willing to give. The deal is yours, choice is yours. Uh, we, we believe that both of us as the founders, as the one running the operations, we would want to hold more than 50% of the entire company. I can just jump in here. I, I, I do understand your concern about founders' equity. That's also something you know we're all concerned about, that you should have enough stake in the game, right? Um, now, we are not very happy with the fact that there are no customers currently on the platform. As you said, there are no customers and you only had you know, 30, 40 so far. But we think that your idea is good. And if we think that with the right marketing people and with the right strategy advice, your business can do well. We offer you 200,000 US dollars for 35% of your business. Do we have a deal? Can we have a minute to discuss? Yes, Angels, we have a deal. Congratulations. Congratulations. It may be half the money they wanted, and more than double the equity, but Adriel and Jerry are on the road to realizing their dreams. And if you think any of the entrepreneurs had a particularly good idea, go to angelsgate.com and click on the like button. For every like, Capital and Hope Foundation will donate a dollar to charity.